Mr. Griffin explains the motive for the banks to endorse worthless fiat money. How does a bank make its money? Interest on loans. So the more loans they can make, the more money they make because the more interest they can collect. Now, if the money is backed by gold or silver, there's only so much of it in your vault. You cannot loan any more than you have. So that restricts the ability of the banks to make money because they, it restricts their ability to loan money. Now, if you give those same banks the power to make money out of nothing, they can loan a lot more of it. <laughs> they can own an infinite amount of it. You see, they're collecting interest on nothing. Scott Miner agrees that paper money without anything behind it is a tremendous liability. If the history of, of hard currency is checkered, the history of paper currency is abysmal. It can be said that modern money is a grand illusion conjured by the magicians of finance and politics. We are living in an age of fiat money, and it is sobering to realize that every previous nation in history that has adopted such money eventually was economically destroyed. Furthermore, there is nothing in our present monetary structure that offers any assurance that we may be exempted from that morbid roll call. Be sure to watch all of the segments by clicking on the link below. Full disclosure, the news behind the news.